We're going to do a walk cycle. I'm going to show you two ways in place and just a normal walk cycle, and we're going to use in between. Them. Select uh, your uh, joint select. Uh, select your point controller mode. I like your character. Um, I'm going to select the character up to 80. Uh, keyframe 80, moving forward, and then highlight everything. And then I'm going to select um, in between. Them. So let's see what it does. I prefer to walk in at the end. Let us make him move out a little bit further. Do in between again. And now we play with the posing. So that's decent enough. So I just want to say that's need to start of a pose and end of the same pose. So gonna say this pose I want it to end on that pose so let's just start on that pose too so we ending with our right foot back and there's the right foot back let's say there gonna take this off Alt F Alt F move this forward there now I'm gonna take this pose Control C, add here, control V, move this guy back to the starting point, and let's see what the in-between does over here. Okay, so let's see what the cycle looks like. Um, so again, the first one, the last one, should have the same position, and we always after the second last one, we highlight that. Go to um, cycle with a position offset, increase that, and let's see what the character looks like. A little bit of a jitter, let's fix that beginning and end. Beginning and end is always going to be the most difficult part to fix. So, as I control Z, 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 there we go. Remove that. I want to fix this now. So, I'm like, okay, I'm happy enough. Let's fix this. What we also can do is, so let's actually do this. So, yeah, I'm actually going to increase it so it looks a little bit better. So, I'm going to increase it to 80. In between this, let's hope it doesn't run. I need to increase the position to let's say there. Let's increase it to its max, which is 89. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, it's actually going to walk slower now. That's a nice swagger. Okay, again, first and last should look the same, which it does. I'm going to, let's see what this one looks like now. Let's increase to 500. Uh, we will do the track. There we go. I, I messed up there, I did mess up. So I'm gonna take that off. I do that. There we go. Actually, looks quite decent. Let's see. Extend it even more. Okay, it's very decent. Okay, so as you can see, it's a little bit of a jitter there. You barely see it, but. Yeah, it's a little bit jitter there, so I'm going to extend this, actually, no, I'm not going to extend it, I'm going to reduce it back to beginning, let's edit this a little bit, take off the cycle, highlight this and this, Alt F, we're fixing now. We're fixing the animation so that we can edit a little bit, um, let's try for a little bit of cleanup, so I'm going to unbake this. To make it look a lot smoother. Okay, and then we're gonna select this the second last keyframe, I like that.
looks even better. Let's extend this to the max. And that looks great. The key here is the first frame, the last frame must be exactly the same. And then you must always use the second last keyframe when you do this um, the cycle, create cycle of offset. So another thing I want to show you is if we want to create the in place motion or the in, in place um, cycle. So I'm just going to remove this again. Let's stop this here. And I'm going to use unbaked version 2. I am going to add my keyframe here just to. I'm gonna add my. Oh, I'm gonna put my keyframe here just to end off the little uh, animation. I'm gonna add my keyframe here just to end off the little animation. And I'm gonna remove the last one. So in this case, for my cycle, this the whole interval is gonna be my cycle. I want to now do in place motion. Also easy to do. We go on joint mode. We select the character's um, center of mass. We then go to uh, trajectory, trajectory edit mode. We highlight everything over there. We add, I like to move the character up a little bit. In the last ball, uh, ball over here, we right click on that, set pivot. We click on this button here and then we rescale it. And then I move this all back until it looks like it is zero like there and then here's my character walking on one place as well so this is for in place motion too so now for example i can go again with uh, cycling except i don't want it to have position offset so that means i don't want it to continue walking because it's in place i just want this exact cycle to uh, move so i select my whole interval I then click on this one, create cycle, and then I can also create a cycle. The cycle is there, it is working. This little bit is all you need. But if you want to see if it is uh, if it works perfectly, you can do this. Um, so I was going to. Uh, use a cycle again but it gives me this issue I don't know what the issue is the only way now to fix this is to go uh, to a new scene use my same character what I'm going to do is I'm going to I, I like, yeah, I'm going to fix all of these keyframes so alt F I'm in joint mode select all this Oops. take off that select all this Control shift C and then I'm gonna do that. Just copy and paste it there. Control shift B. And here's my character moving on one spot. And I notice it looks like when I do this I lose some data. So I'm just gonna again fix that too. Just by pressing Alt F. And now my cycle will work. So I'm just gonna increase this to 500. I should be able to unbake it again. So let's see what it looks like without unbaking. I'm going to use my whole cycle there. There we go. Uh, and then the side we select the cycle at the back, increase it there. And there's my whole cycle. So now it should loop in place as well. So let's see what it looks like. Perfect. And there's my in-place motion as well. So again, you clean it up even more. Let's take a look actually. I'm gonna unbake this. Unbake. And I'm gonna cycle out again. Okay. Happy. And we cycle again I'm going to 
let's take a look. What does this look like? Feet look good, legs look good. I would say arms need a little bit of work still. The shoulder. So let us see again. Okay, so it's something to do with the unpacking. There. So again, I'm going to remove some of these keyframes because I feel that's what's causing the issues. That one, that one, I don't like them so close together. That one, and that one. Okay, let's try this again. Also nice to know that if I do this, I'm gonna remove the shoulders here. Yeah. The only shoulders to be smooth. Remove that shoulder. Remove that shoulder. I'm just taking off by randomly. I don't like the keyframes so close to each other, so I'm just taking off randomly. No specific plan. Just do the corresponding shoulders. They, 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 they. Looks better. Then we should be able to extend that too. And yeah, I think that looks decent. Um, again, the more the more work you put into your little cycle, the better it's going to look. But I just want to show you can do it in betweening as well. 